What's up everyone and welcome to all the testing shit. Today I'm trying out the new Boss Katana Go plugin thingy modeler stuff. I told you I would get this sooner or later from Roland Boss. This right here is a full blown modeler, sort of. That you plug in straight into your guitar and uh, plug in your headphones, and that's it. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> it's basically the Boss Katana in a very, very small format that you use with headphones or, you know, something simple to just plug into your guitar and sit and play. And this is a completely different type of user group than, you know, what I would assume being my audience doing home recording and stuff like that. This is not a home recording thing, you know, this is a thing to play guitar and just enjoy yourself. Not everyone is recording all the time. Some people just want to sit and play guitar and just have a good time. And that's why you have things like this. You have three quick buttons for three different presets, but you can also change the preset by by working this little uh, push thing right there up and down and you see it changes the preset pretty simple if you hold this button you get a tuner look at that <sighs> yeah you have to you have to plug it in obviously you have the headphone output as well as a USB-C output you can use this as an audio interface into your DAW if you want to you have a volume here at the front and also a stage field button which is supposedly uh, gonna mimic like how it is on a stage. I did already experience this type of katana stage feel when uh, Boss released their headphones a couple years back. So I kind of have an understanding of what that stage feel really is. It's basically reverb or like a room reverb and you can kind of control if you're in front of the amplifier, behind or on a stage. You get the idea. For this demo, I'm not going to use headphones. I'm just going to plug this thing straight into my audio interface so we can enjoy all of this together. So I plug the katana into the guitar like that. So I'm making this kind of... I guess it's sort of like a sponsored video uh, because they did actually send me this unit for free. However, I'm not getting paid to do anything. I don't get paid to say anything special, but this is mainly how it works. They send me this for free and uh, I make an unsponsored video while it's actually being sponsored because they actually sent me this unit. But I won't let that affect what I think and what I say. And they know this. <laughs> Everyone knows this. I'm also going to use my phone to control the Boss Katana Go. As soon as I loaded up this little uh, thingamabob, I was able to quickly make sort of like a metal tone. The way you edit this thing is not going to be as advanced as on a Boss Katana, but you have a couple of different chain uh, options, I would say, you know, depending on what you want before or after an amplifier, for instance. So uh, I just go with a very simple one where you have a boost in front of an amplifier, and that's basically it. So. Sounds fair, right? You have the five different app types right here. You have lead, crotch. You're not going to hear the difference because I have a boost on. So let's try this again. Okay, let's start with brown. No boost. You have lead. You have crunch. You have clean. And acoustic, which is for acoustic guitar. So I guess it's sort of like a clean DI. Anyways, you also have uh, three different variations of this. I thought it was three, but apparently it's two. <laughs> it's on and off. So. Let's go to brown. Right? And then 
I'm going to show you. You have cab resonance on the second page here. Which is basically the impulse response. It's vintage, deep, and modern. So you get a little bit of a different feel. Alright, let's go back to uh, the boost. So I click effects and then I have all the effects listed like this. And as you can see, it's quite a lot actually. Do you think it work if I just try harder? Actually, it worked. Compressor. Not too bad, actually. Okay, let me try a couple of different presets. You have a natural drive. Clean chorus. Very nice. Okay, modern brown. These are all presets, okay? Okay, warm tone. Very nice. Metal ref, okay. I'm ready. Okay, let's dial in this uh, little thing right there. So, you can actually do a metal song, hell yeah! Hell yeah, let's go metal song. It's a lot of gain. <laughs> Ooh. Hell yeah, baby. Okay, let's. Uh, can I do clean amplifier with this? That actually sounds like a metal song, must say. <laughs> okay. Weird. Cool, you can have a harmony, man. Worth mentioning is that Boss also has a wireless little Bluetooth thing that you can connect to this so you can, you know, change your settings with this little wireless controller. It's pretty cool, actually. I want to try out the stage tone now, so I click this button. Uh, now there's off. Here's mode one. Okay, mode two. Okay, that's a little bigger and probably a stage. Custom. This is probably going to be a lot more cool uh, if you use headphones with this, obviously, because it, it will get more immersive, I would say. Are you using headphones right now, watching this video? Maybe you should. Let's see what happens if I change the audio position here. That's freaky. So there's basically some kind of doubling happening as well, so... Right, so in regards of this metal tone I'm getting right here, you know... I mean, 
it's not the best in the world, but it's okay. You know, it's okay. It, it's just this small little unit right there. You can't really expect it to sound like a full-blown boss katana, you know? It's fine. I mean, this is for just sitting and noodling around. However, you can use this thing as an audio interface to record into a DAW or on your phone, for instance. There is one feature I would have loved to see with this boss katana go. It would have been super duper amazing for me to be able to connect my Apple AirPods directly to this thing. I know there, there's a little bit, of, might be a little bit of latency there between you know the headphones and the the unit itself. But wouldn't that be really cool? You know, you don't have a cable, you just have this and then your AirPods, and you're free to just walk around on town. Like I think the only way to do this right now is if you would connect this with a USB-C cable to your phone, and then maybe connect your AirPods to your phone or something like that. I, I don't know. I thought that would be a cool feature. Maybe something we could see on an updated Boss Katana Go. So there you go. That's the Boss Katana Go right there. I mean, what is it? A hundred bucks to get? I, for a hundred bucks? I mean, that's fair. You can't deny it's a cool little thing. And for me personally, you know, I think this is almost too advanced to some point, you know, that I got all of these options in the phone. I could have lived with a lot less for, you know, an application like this where I just sit and play. But, you know, you get a lot of extras in there. The stage feel is cool with your headphones on. Not necessarily anything I would think is cool because, you know, I'm on stage all the time. I get that feeling. But if you're one of those musicians out there that doesn't have like a well-established band like me, you know, and you don't get to get out on a stage and feel. You, you have the stage feel right there. That's fucking terrible. Why are you so humble, Ola? Anyways, ooh, I was about to throw this thing, but I'm not. That's Ola testing shit for you right there. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. That was the Boss Katana Go right there. Thank you. I'm ever fun it.